Uh, we got that's Jay Rue. Got a question on how you started Mo's workout regimen when he first started out. I remember being close to his weight and it was hell starting. Mo, how you feel? Pains, bone pops from an injuries. Go ahead, Mo. Um, I, I, you know, there's always gonna be some kind of pains, especially there's a lot of times I'm pushing myself and, but you just gotta power through it. Resist the slave mind. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, mind over matter. If it, if you don't mind, it don't matter. Um, my workouts are very fast paced. You, if you really trying to get a good workout, you should never spend more than an hour in a gym. While get, getting a great workout, um, you know, there's certain things my parents told me. I'm, I don't think I'm really allowed to disclose it, but um, uh, but just know it's fast paced. Get in, get out, waste no time. Hurry your ass up, and w if whatever pain you have, forget about it. And just keep pushing, regardless. Yeah. Um, if you guys watch, shout out to Sneeko. Um, we did a. Uh, I jumped on his IRL stream. Um, I think it was last Sunday. Yeah. Um. He was like, hey, yo, let's get a quick workout in or whatever. And I was like, all right, you know, it's fine. It was like my third workout of the day. Um, so I went, I w we went and did a quick little workout. And I was taking him through one of the um, things that I do, right, for conditioning. And it's a simple workout. It's a, what I call like a calisthenics day. I do like um, 30 lunges per leg back and forth around the room. And then I do pull-ups and then I do push-ups, all supersetted uh, to, you know, no rest. And then I take a one-minute rest and then I do the, the cycle again, right, or the giant set, right? Um, and on the second round, like of doing the lunges, like Sneeko started to like, like get some pain, right? Like, like, oh, and like, you know, instead of like doing lunges, he's trying to like just walk it off instead of doing lunges. And I was like, no, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go back, go back and do the lunges. And, you know, I had to like kind of yell at him. Right. And shout out to Sneeko, man. That's the homie right there. But I had to yell at him and tell him, no, like when it hurts and you want to quit, you don't cry like, oh my God, this sucks. You cried tears of joy because now this is where you grow. Like, guys, you not understand that, right? So like, when you're lifting weights, okay, I want you to get to that point where it hurts and you're thinking about quitting. Because when that happens, congratulations, my friend. You've just achieved a threshold where now the growth is going to happen. This is where the gains are really made. It's not about training when you feel good. It's about training through when you feel like absolute shit. That's what sets you apart from the winners. You understand, right? This is why a lot of these people that talk smack about us, etc., bro, they can't even do pull-ups. They're over here talking shit on the internet. I don't respect none of them. <laughs> like, they, number one, they never say the shit they say to me to my face. And then number two, they can't even do two pull-ups. And they're over here talking shit. So the, clearly, when I look at you and I see that you're a fat, flabby, soft individual, that tells me that you have a soft mind. The body is an outward manifestation of the mind strength. You understand? Because I know for you to build a solid physique, you need to get to a point where you got to that crossroads. You're at that fork in the road. I can either stop and uh, feel pleasure again and not feel this pain, or I could bite the bullet, go into the darkness, go into the pain, enter the pain cave, stay in there as long as I can and grow from it. And the more you go and you take that pain cave route, the stronger you're going to become overall. And here's the beauty. When you go in that pain cave for long enough, you're able to learn how to stay in the pain cave in other endeavors in life. If I can stay in that pain cave while doing squats, well, guess what? I can stay in that fucking pain cave when I'm curling. I can stay in that pain cave when I'm doing lunges. I can stay in that pain cave when I'm bench pressing. And most importantly, I can stay in that pain cave when I want to build a second fucking business. I can stay in that pain cave when I got to work those hours that I don't feel like working because I got to get shit done. I will go ahead and take that mindset into other endeavors in life, and that's why no one will defeat me. A lot of you guys say, yo, Myron, you're relentless. When do you sleep? Why do you do so many sets? Blah, blah, blah. Well, let, number one, I don't speak Bichonese. Number two, I learned this mindset from being a D1 athlete from suffering. Enough, Not enough of you guys have fucking suffered. Okay? You feel the pain. Like, ah, it hurts. I don't know what I'm going to do. Stop being a fucking pussy. Keep going. You got to keep going. That's where the gains are made. The gains aren't made when you feel good. The gains are made when you feel like absolute fucking shit. So that when you feel like shit, when you do feel good, you beat the fuck out of your competition. That's what I'm doing now. Guys, I go, I do my second, third training session. I don't feel good. I don't want to be there. You know, that alarm goes off. I'm like, oh my God, damn it. I slept one hour, right? Like we did our after hour show. We finished eating by the time I'm done. We get, I get back home. It's like two, three in the morning. I got to do a training session at 530 with my coach. I'm like, man, I don't want to even get up. But guess what? All I hear the back of my head is pussy, bitch. We're on YouTube. You guys could do the math there, right? And I'm like, ah. <laughs> and then I think of my opposition, right? I think of anus and reach. I think of fat ass playback losers. I think of all the haters talking smack. I talk about, I think about 
um, all the people that make hit pieces on us, all this other shit. And then I say, no. And I fucking rise up like Undertaker. And I just fucking go and do it. I use the haters. I use the shit talkers. I use all the people that are preying on our fucking downfall. I use that and I contort that energy as fuel to go downstairs, go to the fucking gym when I don't feel like it, and get it done anyway. Because I know my competition doesn't have that level of discipline. And that's why we were able to hit 1.5 fucking million subscribers in less than three years, while a lot of these bums have been on for a decade plus. Down the Marco, Marco.